All right, y'all, 2023 deer season. Here we go, y'all. Uh, it's middle of August. Finally got a cool front come through. Oh, let's knock these temperatures back a little bit. Basically what I'm doing this evening, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna go do some scouting out of state tomorrow. Get my boat gassed up. Oh, I'm gonna let Estelle go with me. Uh, I don't think she's gonna hurt nothing here six weeks before the season opens here. So we're gonna go hang some cameras. We're gonna do a, see what we find sign-wise, see what kind of mass crops are gonna be over this year. And like I said, gonna get up early in the morning and leave, so I'm getting everything ready this evening. Oh, I think she's all comfortable back here. <laughs> y'all, I don't know how many of y'all have ever had a dog that was pretty much as much as a best friend to you that'll go anywhere, won't complain, now she give me fits when I don't let her go. She'll pout on me and everything else. But y'all, one thing I want to bring her for is I think I can tell where deer's been, you know, just by how she acts by smell. Y'all like, you know, my old dog we had years ago, Jesse. I took her a bunch of times scouting with her, you know, during gun season here in Mississippi. I killed several deer with her. Man, she'd go chasing one off. I, I know I killed three. That I can remember on top of my head over the years. She'd go chasing it off, and that deer comes slipping back by. Because, like I said, she wouldn't bark. She wouldn't run it. She just was trailing it. Uh, they'd come slipping back by me. So, like I said, next time you see me in the morning, we finna have our stuff packed up. Because it's supposed to be like, I don't know, in the low 60s in the morning. And that's, we've been in the 70s with bunches of humidity. Uh, but fronts come through, low humidity, winds out of the north. Um, if it's hunting season, be hunting. But go, let's go scout and hang some cameras because the old saying is uh, success is preparation and opportunity when they meet. So we're going to go do the preparation and see what we can find because we're going to do some hunting over here in this state this year. Uh, I know I am. I think Daniel's probably going to hunt it too. So. Go get some cameras up and let's get some see if we might get some inventory and see what kind of bugs we might be hunting over this time. So I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm up early. I guess the first trip of the year. I woke up first time hour ahead of well I'm an hour ahead of my alarm. I was two hours ahead of my alarm. Oh, 67 degrees, not quite as cool as I thought it'd be, but still good and cool. Oh, it feels good. Oh. Tell her she's up, she's done back sleep in the back back there. So, hey, let's get hit the road here. Let's get it started. Let's see what we can find today on a scouting trip. Uh, we'll hang a few cameras and see what kind of sign we find. Hopefully, it's a, I'm curious to see what kind of acorns or uh, mass crop this time. So, here we go. up in here where we want to go so let's see what we find in here you ready to go still huh? i find time's about coming here scouting early compared to waiting until ready to start hunting man a lot of times it changes up a bunch of these trees it doesn't fail or i haven't been in here in two years so they could have fell last year, but definitely a lot harder to get in here. Hey, one drain right here. There's two of them that comes down in this big holler. I know, I don't know, several years ago, I was standing out there looking where I was going to climb, and I just had to look back up. Man, they was a big deer took off. So I'm gonna try putting a camera right here. So I think I can get both these hollers right here. Which trees fell down over there. I think they're gonna be coming right through here. This big old hill right here too. So a lot of times that's what I'm looking for, y'all, is just trying to find pinch points and put a camera in it. So I brought my steps, I'm gonna probably put it two steps up high where nobody bother it maybe. <laughs> this spot right here is what I was gonna get to. Man, this big tree done fell over here. This tree back here. 
it fell. Like I said, I don't know, it's been three years ago I was in there, I guess. But I was climbing back down the drain. Oh, 50 yards. That's a good buck cone. He went right down both sides of this big old tree right here. Like I said, that's three years ago. And he went to the top and he jumped, come back down the other side. Now, I guess I was eating on something on that tree. I think it was a little old, like mushrooms or something coming off that tree. So, you know, I don't know. I ain't never seen one do that before. That's why I want to come back and look at this tree, but it's done right it more now. There's not many mushrooms on it right now. It was little old brown looking mushrooms. So, so. That was a clump of trees over yonder with dropping acorns that year. Let's walk over there and look at it. Well, one of them done fail. What I liked about this place a couple years ago, see this big bottom out there, all softwood. There's a little old point right here that sticks off this ridge that goes out in the bottom. Big old red oak there. Big white oak here. Big red back there. They was dropping acres just a little bit. It was early. It was in the first of October. But it's two or three scrapes on this thing. I thought, man, that looked good. I know it's still early. Well, I may try sticking a camera on the trail or, or spot up through here and just see if they're still, if they're going to come later. Like I said, I'm putting these cameras out to mainly for to see what's coming in here in the next six to eight weeks. So, it looks a lot different right now. <clears throat> I really like finding old rubs in there. It lets you know bucks have been there years ago. Just an old rub. It looks good. Okay, so we've been coming right up through here a little bit. So it's real. Sort of thick down there, a couple trees blowed over. So they may be coming up a little higher than they were. I made me a loop basically and come all the way around the side of the hill. The old tree blowed over right there. See, the deer's still coming between that tree here and that big old dead tree. Where it's, it's, like I said, it looks like it. They sort of dim trail right here. It's hard to tell any tracks, but I'm going to try putting a camera on it right here, angling down on it. Cause like I said, I know that one deer done that. He come up through there and he went up to that tree and they end up going on the other way, but he come from this way, so I want to stick it where it won't, maybe it won't scare him. Uh, get it on up there, probably stick high too. So let's hang it right here. Right, I'm curious if anything comes through there. I think I got an angle enough. To, so they sort of two trails. There's sort of one here, but not near as. That out there looks a little better. So, time to tell. Let's go on. Do some more. Looking. Alright, y'all. One thing I'm doing now. I'll put a camera up. I'm putting it in my notes. Uh, I've got them named, got them numbered. I put it in my notes. You know, you get a little older. Especially special time. You have man where the camera's at. So I got it in here now, maybe I can find it again. Alright, let's go to the next. Another way to scout. Just walk these old ditches, dry ditches, and see where they're crossing. Here's where a couple tracks are here, not a bunch, but there has been more right here than I've seen in a lot of places. Somebody's having fun. She's feeling good this morning. She'll be dragging there at a while though. Daniel's camera. I'm gonna go up there and check it. One thing about Stella and that breed, that Great Pyrenees, anytime we stop, she's gonna lay down and face away from me. I don't know if she guarded me, but she'll always do that. Hi, right, got that changed out. I got the car in my pocket. Like I said, I ain't gonna know where to read it. Uh, so. Get back to the house, I'll look at them.
<clears throat> One thing about scouting in the ground would potentially grow. You can grow an oak tree that big. So I'm grow some big horns too. That's one thing I look at the crops, what kind of yield the crops produce, and what the timber looks like. That's not no scrubby hill timber right there. <laughs> one thing about a pair of binoculars when you scout, look at these trees, see if you see any acres. Sawtooth there, I don't see none on it. I, I ain't really seen none yet. I've seen just a few persimmons while I go around to that water down there. You got a real late frost, I don't know if that hurt them. That's what it is. If you, if you can find some acorn trees, it'll be good. I don't think the woods are going to be full of them. A lot of times that's the best time to hunt them. You just got to scout and find them. And a lot of times they won't last long. They may, you know, a couple of days. They get dropping good, they'll pick them up. And, you know, let's go find some more. So, let's keep on going. They still getting tired on me. Heck, Stella got out in front of me here. She's walking right back to the boat. Uh, she ain't never been here before. I guess she can smell where we come from. Okay. Uh, we have to get wet still. We have to get wet. Come on. Uh, up in. 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 Step, step. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Go. All right, y'all. Say, so, what do you think about your out of state scout trip? starting to get hot now y'all hey leave me a comment see what you think how y'all scout uh, like i said it's pretty cool this morning it's done warming up now just sort of want to get in and look at a couple of these places so uh, sort of hard to tell sign uh you know there will be a few deer in the back these so growed up these old sloughs and stuff here but they'll definitely come in here later these acorns a few acorns start falling uh, they always do uh, so I made it back to the house like I said coming back got thinking oh uh, when you over where he sort of I sort of cut it off I think well that's about all I got to say when you start coming back then you think a lot of other stuff you know one thing I want to encourage y'all hey if you can scout ahead like that because I've learned over the years y'all and most other hunters that are very successful consistently killing big deer the more time you put in it the better yards are 
killing more mature bucks. Oh, you can get lucky killing one every once in a while, just going in blind, setting up, but to consistently do it, you know, the more preparation you do, the more scouting. Oh, because y'all, this year, I plan on hunting six states counting Mississippi. So every chance I get early like this, I'm going to run and try putting some cameras up and just sort of looking. Oh, like I said, I know that place over there real good. We've hunted it a lot over the years so but i just want to see how it changes up because a lot of times trees fall and, and other things so so i think i've done that <clears throat> sort of got an idea because i, I draw a, a muzzleloader tag over there but i usually bow hunt a little bit early too and then i bow hunted in the rut so i'll definitely probably be back over there several more times late later on stella is wore out <laughs> you see her laying over there but y'all I don't know if y'all ever had a dog that you spent a lot of time with. I'm, you know, based in my work, I, I do. I can bring her with me. Uh, she's six years old, and I brought her pretty much to the woods, cutting hay. You know, she'll stay in a pickup out of the way. But she's my second dog to basically do that. Y'all, you know, if you've ever had a dog like that, you know what I'm talking about. This is my second one. Most time, you don't have but maybe one in your lifetime. Uh, where you see them from as a puppy and you see them go all the way through their adult and older age in life and they, like I said, I had to put that my first one down and that's one of the hardest things I've ever done because we got her on our honeymoon and, uh, in 91 and kept her to 2006. She's 15 years old, a golden retriever, y'all. Man, you talking about get attached to a dog. Uh, like I said, I took her everywhere. She went to the woods with me. Uh, she'd ride a bulldozer. She'd, she'd get on any piece of equipment with me. Later on in life, she's deaf. She couldn't hear. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm getting that way now too. Being around equipment most of my life, but uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just something about spending time with a dog like that. Uh, leave me a comment. How many of y'all have ever had a dog from a puppy and raised it all the way through its adult life and and seen it had to put it down or seen it die in its older age? Uh, I guess one thing I'm saying is you see a life cycle. I heard Paul Harvey one of his he said it was a letter to his kids and that was one thing he said he wanted his kids to see was to have a puppy and see it all the way through his life cycle and have to put it down because y'all you respect life so much and you see where you are in your stages of life by looking at that dog uh, so leave it to that like i said that was a pretty good trip today uh, had fun i think stella had a ball cause she is <laughs> she's well out but another thing i want to say have you ever thought about had a dog in a vehicle we and going down the road on a bypass where you got an overpass? Have you ever seen it scared you know, Jesse, my old golden retriever I used to have. She was the same one. Man, they ducked their head like when that bridge goes over their head. Uh Stella done that when we went back over the river bridge. Man, she was just looking like, man, what is that? It just made her nervous as it could be. Uh have y'all ever had a dog and had it in a vehicle and an overpass go over and, and they just sort of act like man. Something's coming over their head. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. Like I said, we've got a lot coming. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more scouting. If you liked my scouting trips, hey, let me know. Let me know because, like I said, I'm gonna, I am got several states I'm going to go to that I plan on going early before I really want to start hunting and just check them out. Because uh, a couple of them are new places. Uh, my Iowa, I've been there. I've done, done my scouting there. Uh, been during turkey season and I've been back and put a camera up so I, I got a good idea I know I know what dates I want to be there uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that see you next time